the one thing that I was not aware of, and I saw this on a special, they add a small amount of bleach to hamburger meat. Boo. And I'm like, well, why don't you put that on the label? But, you know, uh, from the chemical world, it's called legal toxicity limit. There's a legal toxicity limit to everything. Oh. Welcome, welcome, welcome to Cosmo and West talk bullshit about barbecue and recipes we've done that we pulled out of our asses. So uh, today's going to be a good one. Today yeah. we're going to talk about remaking Guga's version two of his life changing burger. Did it change your life? It's a pretty good burger. I ain't going to lie. It was good. It that, was good. The, the, the French onion uh, powder on it, definitely a game changer. I probably won't do it again, though. I just like a smash burger. I think you could make that like your... It tasted like a, an onion burger without the onions, without no, the physical that, no, onions. No, you're right. It tastes like an onion burger. It's just without the texture and mouth. You know? I guess if you didn't like onions, or, well, if you didn't like onions and... You know, if you didn't like the taste of onions, but you could do... The texture of onions. Or sorry, the texture, not the yeah. taste. That's what it felt like. Some of the bites are like, this is an yeah. onion burger. It you just know, has the sauce. Uh, one of the people on set goes, why didn't you just mix it in the meat? And I'm like, well, that's not how he did it. That's what I thought, too. I thought it was ironic that he was like seasoning it because of how flaky it was. Yeah. It's like, why wouldn't you just mix it in there? It might be hard to like guarantee you got the same amount in each one. Yeah. But may not have been looked as cool, but I don't know. Well, it was a good burger. Sauce was good. I just made the sauce exactly like the recipe. It was just basic burger sauce. Never going to be mad at a burger sauce. I would. Uh, the only thing I would have done to that is SPG the shit out of it and probably some fine chopped onions and relish. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. It needed, and then it's like mac sauce. Yeah. Yeah. Which is not bad. Not a bad. No, thing. no, I, I don't hate that. You missed it. You Jamie ran to get that SPG when you wanted it and then you changed your mind, but she like slid it into the shot. It was like. <laughs> And like stopped. <laughs> you never really? no, you never noticed. No, I didn't but see it that. But it just like it just went, it came right in. I looked at Colton. I was like, he's not going to see that. <laughs> she got well, it to you. Well, you know, and I didn't. You know, to be fair to Guga, uh, in that recipe, I wanted to make it as close to his yeah. as possible. You know, so you know, we've all mixed mayo and ketchup. Yeah, that's what the sauce tastes like. Yeah, I mean, well, it's it's like Joshua Weissman tastes like Chick Fil A sauce. Yeah, you ever seen him? He's like, guys, this is easy, and he's just like, bam, 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 bam. He's he's on another level. But I think what we really need is Angel and the other guy to come eat the food because they could eat a Cheerio and give you the the review. Yeah, yeah. I'm not saying his food's bad, but he they must be well paid because they are having a great time. Well, yeah, testing man. All that you, yeah, you get to eat all that food. How would you not have a good I mean, time? He's cooking. Yeah, it's like rolling. Yeah, and then they walk over to the other room and do the sous vide videos and eat some more. I know he's got like three channels now. It's crazy, he, man. He, and he's an. I'm telling you right now, he is one of the most awesome people out there. Hmm. You've never met him, have you? Floridian. That's why he's cool. Yeah, yeah. I met Guga. I've known Guga for. Five, six years? Mm-hmm. Didn't y'all meet at Vid Summit? Yeah. 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 Well, we have a we had a mutual friend, and then we met through that person, and then we met at uh Vid Summit. So he he's a, he's an awesome dude. Awesome dude. Like him and his wife, they're you know, they're just great people. Oh yeah. He's and, like and, and right now he is he is, you know, he is in my opinion, leading the way on content around the, this t mm -hmm. uh, our type of content on YouTube. Yeah. And he does it, it like he's, you have no idea how hard he worked. Oh. That guy, I mean, I'm telling you right now, it's, he, he does everything. He's probably got stuff dry aging right now that's for like. He does. I guarantee he does. A year from now. Yeah. And I see he hired some editors. And I'm sure he's got filmers, but he shot, edited, filmed everything. Yeah, it's a lot everything. Of work. And he didn't know how to edit. He taught himself to how to edit and how to edit like that. So that's phenomenal. His it, I mean, his edits are really good, mm -hmm. really good. I don't, there's no way I could do it. 
I could. It'd probably uh, you'd get one video every six months <laughs> <laughs> with my editing skills. Just the first draft. You have to go back and change it. Yeah, I'd send it to somebody and then be like, "No, <laughs> pass." Yeah, we'll we'll do, uh, we'll pick this up some other time. Yeah, Goog is like, "Let's hand grind all the meat and season it all, yeah. and, you know, and then do it." three different ways so you can tell which one's not this one and yeah which to be fair hand ground hamburger is way better than i'd do it if i could why, why don't you i just don't have a meat grinder i got a meat grinder or like the the wherewithal to clean it when i'm done using it, it it's not really not that bad is it not no you don't have to like sterilize the whole thing i'm sure you well, do I mean, but... yeah you should be doing that shit to your dishes anyway well but... sure I'm just thinking, I guess if I was going to use it, I'd, I'd be grinding a ton of meat at one time. So that's what I used to do is I'd, I'd buy a couple briskets, buy a real fatty one, and then buy, you know, or a couple fatty ones. You don't want your hamburger meat too fatty. Yeah. 80-20 is about really as far as you want to go, sure. um, in my opinion. Don't dry it out. No, yeah. Uh, but I used to grind, take briskets and grind them up, and that was my hamburger. Mm-hmm. Because it's kind of the perfect cut. And back then, they were way cheaper than they are now. Oh, dude, yeah. It's, it's a lot. What is hamburger meat a pound now? If you get like the organic or anything grass-fed, it's usually like six fifty, that's six sixty, seven 7 bucks a pound. That's insane. For a pound. That's like... That's insane. Yeah. It's nuts. Or you can get that stuff that's like opaque yeah. in the foam... You know, thing. It's like, what am I taking my life in my own hands to eat this? Like, <laughs> what are we doing here? Yeah. It's like, I'll take the red meat instead, please. It's crazy. There's a restaurant in Oklahoma City. They do hand cut steaks all weekend. And on Monday, they have a blue plate special from four to six. And it's like this burger from all the trimmings. It's a Wagyu like burger they make. And it's like the chef just gets a second to just make something up. One time it had this like beet like sauce under the bun. And looking at it, it was like, what is that? Like, it just looked, that color with the meat, and it was real strange. Dude, I don't care what's on it. I will eat it. It is so good. A beet? Beet. B-E-T. B-E-E-T. I'm telling you. Like, I don't it, hate beets, but, Like, you know. they'll tell you, what's on the burger? And they'll tell you, it'll be like, I haven't heard of half of that shit. Yeah. Bring it out. Yeah. Like, it's just, there's something about, like, I had this olive spread on the bottom of a sandwich the other day. I don't like olives on their own. But I will eat it on the sandwich because it's like, whoever made this knew yeah. how it all needed yeah. to stack up. So, I don't know. But grinding the meat and all that, I think, gives you some control. Maybe you otherwise don't have. A lot of control. You can season it if you like. You can not season it. Um, but the one thing that I was not aware of, and I saw this on a special they add a small amount of bleach to hamburger meat. Boo. And I'm like, well, why don't you put that on the label? But, you know, uh, from the chemical world, it's called Legal Toxicity Limit, LTL, and it's on in, like any uh, MSDA or... USDA? I, no, it's, a, it's, it's the material data sheet, MDS, I can't remember what it's called. But there's a legal toxicity limit to everything. Whoa. You can, you know, eat something as long as you're under the toxicity limit. You know, you're probably not going to be good, but it's, you know, but bleach, good. bleach is on that. But bleach is also in our water and, you know, wow. so. the forever chemicals. Yeah. Well, well this hey, took man. a turn. Do what? This yeah. took a turn. No, it did. Cheer it us up, does, man. man. I, I cannot believe, like, what would happen if we just sat around and just, you know, we would somehow land on. I don't know. We land on some my dumb fault. shit. Yeah. It is. It is your fault. My fault. Well, hey, I want to thank everybody for watching. If you like what we do, share this with a friend. Uh, don't forget, go watch that burger video if you haven't already. Make it. Let me know your thoughts, and I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.